Ladies and gentlemen, I am excited today. Today is a good day. I'm teaming up with uh, Chip the Sinker guy. Um, got the guys from Fish Bites. We're going to the trading post today. We, uh, I'm playing a show. I'm playing from 12.30 to 3. Live music by Mike Cook Music. Um, it's a benefit for Ben Burford. We're trying to get excited, raise money for him and his family so that they have the means to get through this horrible time. Um, but we are coming together. We're doing a huge fishing tournament. Waymaster, he's the Waymaster, all the Waymaster. Pompano <laughs> and Redfish. The biggest fish wins up to uh, adult division, will win first, second, and third. And Junior Angler will win second and third on three divisions. Uh, whiting, Pompano, and Redfish. Guys, I've made it. I'm here at the Fish Bites Tackle Shop and Liars Club. I love that Liars Club. Like, I caught a fish this big. <laughs> it's the all stop shop. I mean, if you need ice, we got ice. If you need bait, we got bait. We don't have any live bait though, but we do have plenty of frozen bait you can come get. And any tackle that you need, right here at the Fish Bites Trading Post. We are here. I want you to see this. This is the Fish Bites warehouse. Boom! here at the fish buys trading post we got mr brett warren so brett i got a question for you yes sir what's going on in the surf most guys are getting um are going after the uh, pumps they're just starting to show up pompano all right yeah. <laughs> and they're using our sand flea and they're using our clam our coquina clams have been really hot so uh those, those two i'd say right now and the shrimp's always good and you're always going to get whiting on all those Uh, but uh, that's that's what's hot right now. And then it's our fight club inshore swim baits. Uh, we have them in mullet. We have them in shrimp. Imitations, that's the hottest thing right now. Uh, if you're doing cast and retrieve, we got all that. And we also carry all, all the inshore baits pretty much. All the hot companies, uh, we got them. So, Can we take a look at them? Yes, sir. Come on in. Mullet <laughs> imitation. <laughs> mullet and shrimp imitation. <laughs> We're going to go in the shop. Oh, you got a mine right This is Marty here. Oh, this is stop. Marty. Come see him at the shop, too. We got our clothing line over here, all of our logo items and stuff like that we have on this wall. See a live bait with a piece of this just to hold it on because it's got cheesecloth in it. And once it goes on the hook, it really it's really hard to come off. Cheesecloth? Yeah. So when you, you can put it on over your bait to hold your bait on. And if you get picked out there, you'll still have the fish bites on there and you can still get bit. Over here, we have our, our fast acting that does not have the cheesecloth in it. And then over here, we have our inshore baits. Uh, this um. is our... We have our offshore, inshore, freshwater, and surf fishing uh, areas. And uh, we have the full line of bull bay rods and black fin rods, offshore rods. And the uh, plastics we carry, we're loaded up. Um, our hooks, 
um, completely loaded. We're, we're ready to go. Pompano rig, um, maybe a number one or two circle. Uh, we have ready-made rigs too, and we got everything you need to make your own rigs. And we have a uh, chip brundages, um, weights. S sinker guy. We got uh, stuff inshore, float rigs. Uh, we got lures, we got um, Pretty much everything. Yeah, we got Slayer, we got uh, Saltwater Assassin, Z-Man, Bitters, uh, inshore, and also for bass. A lot of guys will, will use these for bass. Fishermen choose colors. I tend to use something natural, you know? So we got to have them all. Everybody's got their favorite color, so. Superstition. Catch, lures catch fishermen. <laughs> I mean, the colors, you know, it's not, you know, it's, you know, so anyway. L uh, lures then, catch fishermen. I love that. Iowa, we are the biggest dealer in North Florida for Daiwa. Um, we have a lot of their rods here, as you can see. Uh, you know, for salt water, which really is not good. So um, a lot of sealed reels. Uh, Sealed's yeah, good for the salt. Sealed is good for salt. Really good hardware company in here, and SeaWorks filled the gap there. Uh, oh, so this is all like all your, your Seaworks, barrel yeah, swiveling. All, yeah. It's all in salt water stuff, man. Um, as of April first, it's now a law. If you're on the water, you got to wear your chill switch lanyard. And these are really, really good. These are very comfortable to wear. They're dependable. Uh, we carry those. So uh, everybody needs to, to wear a kill right switch. Here. The whole warehouse full of Calcutta coolers. Here they are. You're, uh, you're supporting a local company too. That's the key. Yeah. Local uh, companies. Yep. Yes, sir. Yep. Thank you. So. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm here with, with Chip, the sinker guy. He, yep. How you doing, what's Chip? Up, what's you up? Doing? Life's good. Life's good. Yeah, he's he's basically putting this thing on. You know, making it. Um, we're, we're trying. We're, we're teamed up with Fish Bites and obviously you, and we appreciate you for coming and playing music. It's going to be a, a wonderful evening. And I got a quick little story. So my my buddy Adam West, like years ago, we worked together as managers of a, of a restaurant. And it happens to be Chip's Chip's buddy too. And Adam's like, you got to get with this sinker guy. So I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, Chip. And I, I'm like, oh, okay. A year later, I'm in a tackle shop, local tackle shop, Avid Angler. And I see this sinker on the ground in a box, and I'm like, this is awesome. I I said, you, this is this is it. This is the way they're supposed. To, you know, turns out they're chips, man. That is the coolest thing I've ever heard about. Later, Adam's like, yeah, man. Um, Check check out Facebook. So I did, and uh, ended up buying like uh, like over a hundred dollars in sinkers. Yes, sir. He writes, uh, Chip writes me this wonderful, nice little card. I think he'll do it for everybody. I, I'd like to think it was just for me, but my I wife writes them too. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I thought I thought it was your handwriting. Yeah, yeah, There's a couple scribble yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I was a mathematics guy. <laughs> what well, was? Well, there's more to come, guys. We'll see it. Make sure you get out to uh, thesinkerguy.com. Come and see us. We got everything you need for surf fishing. So. Come join us and uh, watch the videos on YouTube. Boop. Just so you know, Chip Chip here is the surf fisherman. Look at his setup right here. This is probably like one of many setups, isn't it? Well, we've we've got a big uh, cart modification deal that's been going on, and it's like it needs to be some upgrades done to it. So uh, there is a uh, 2.0 YouTube fishing cart coming. Oh. Brian Curlett's making it. It's going to be awesome. Guys, we're here with Brian. The creator. This is my mini running gun. Mini it's, running it's gun. It's something that you can you can get out fast, easy. You don't break your back. It'll go anywhere. Not uh, dragging a cart, you know, up and down steps. This thing will go. It'll go anywhere. Uh, it'll go in the back of a small car. That's in the silent auction. Whoever oh, bids up the highest bid. Oh, silent high. auction. Yeah. A prototype. Run and gun surf cart. Made Run and by gun. Brian Kurtlett. There you go. Do that. And the uh, with surf fishing solution. He does these sand spikes here. These things right here alone re retail for about I think eighty bucks. 
Uh, he's got some cheaper ones here we're raffling off uh, or auctioning off separately. This is his standard, which I think retail around 60, 65, something like that. But he does some of the best work, man. He does a really good job. What's one of your uh, favorite features about this thing? Uh, one of the favorite features is uh, the basket. Uh, empty it, turn the basket sideways, stick it on the back of the cart. And, you know, you got, you know, a, a small package. You can put it in the back of a Kia. You know, apartment, uh, closet. You know, so. And you created these rod holders, too. Yeah, these are round bars. These are uh, these are super popular. <laughs> they uh, they don't wash out. People love them. They uh, you could you, once you put them in the sand, it doesn't matter if the tide comes up or not. They they stay put. Uh, I work out of the house. My wife and I. I should tell. Uh, I should tell. We both work in the garage at night all day, and uh, we just sell them out of the uh, out of the house. Condos, dorm rooms. And any and like if you like you said people travel need a hotel room just want to yeah. get on the beach I love it yeah it's a, and also chairs fit on the back of it it's a I prototype got, right like or not, this is number one off the line I'm uh, number one this, this is my running gun 2.0 we got a lot of orders yeah you've got the design <laughs> you're like the engineer so yeah we'll be building them we'll be building them for fish bites how, and how how can they uh, get one of these a lot of the uh, North Florida surf fishing groups we're we're in all of them. So they just find us on Facebook. Brian Curlett, B-R-Y-A-N-C-U-R-L-E-T-T. -T. The man, see, this is what we do here in St. Augustine. We all work together. We, uh, we're changing the game. We are changing the game. You're changing the game. Your wife, you guys are changing the game. This is what we do here. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, man. Pop right oh, pops off, right up. And then it hooks right back in here and it'll slide right into your closet. And we will be the only store, the first store that are carrying these things. Marty saw this yesterday and he told Brian, give me six of them right now. So he's going to be put to work. Did you get the nice engraving? He oh, got let's done? check this out. He uh, did a nice engraving. Running gun, Big Ben. The Big Ben benefit. And, uh, yeah, Brian's a great guy. I think this is our highest priced item in the auction. This is where we uh, keep everything stocked as we handle the internet here. So, as you can see, uh, me house over here uh, restocking the wall. So, What's up? <laughs> you yeah. made the video. <laughs> yeah, uh, 38 degrees is where we store them. So, and this is where they go before they go on the on the wall. We only keep a few on the wall. Uh, UV light changes the color of them over time. So we usually only keep one one or two packs of, of the strips on the wall. So we always have plenty. If it's, if it's not on the website, it's out of stock, so um, there you go. I noticed that um, a lot of the local tackle shops and uh, Walmart even carry this product. How, yeah. how, how do you get it from here? It comes from here to there? Uh, they generally go through a distributor, they okay. don't, uh, so, um, and, uh, and, and uh, they really need to be stored correctly. If, you know, whatever's yeah. not on the wall needs to be refrigerated. You know, so, so the best product the best product are going to be the and the tackle shops that refrigerate them there's uh, some of our better tackle shops are going to have a big refrigerator and they're going to have everything that they're that's not on the wall refrigerated so. that's the key folks refrigerate your fish bites because if you don't what's going to happen to them well they tend to dry out and, and the uv kind of affects the color of them um, i'm not saying you have to refrigerate them i mean they uh you can leave them in your car. I mean, I've, I've got strips that I've left in my car and I still use. The color might change, but as long as you can get a hook through them, they're going to work. So it doesn't matter. The color doesn't matter. The toughness doesn't matter. As soon as they hit the water, they're still going to disperse scent and feeding stimulants. So there you go. Keep it real.